a kind, there ain't no one like me. So I define it's the real damn thing. Don't be wasting. I was in a bit of a philosophical mood last night, and I started to wonder if you never have a chance to use your finishing move, is it still a finisher? Or is it just a regular old move? Shocked you're not out with a head injury after thinking that hard. But please, continue. I guess I was thinking about how dominating my finisher is going to be in the WWE, but you guys are probably never even going to get to use yours, which is kind of sad. Total waste of some perfectly good finishing moves. I don't think you have to worry about that since I guarantee I could hit my finisher on you today. Really? Okay, well, how about we have a little fatal four-way finisher match? First one to hit theirs wins. Deal. I look forward to showing you that my finishing move is not gonna go to waste. Been hearing good stuff about you. Even Todd and security is talking up your training matches. Speaking of Todd, Paragon J. Pierce keeps asking Todd to park his car like he's a valet. I need someone to put Paragon in his place. I'll even ask the coaches to let you take off the training wheels.
Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, I you mean you're gonna face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs, potentially open more doors. But if you lost, the risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? I wanna really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait, we almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, Remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you gonna face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. And show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. Dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. Then the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, 
All I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together, eat together. I know. We could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck in your match. I'm gonna go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's gonna be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally like pyro or anything. I mean like the romantic kind. Yeah, I get it, Chase. Good luck with all that. The fact that you had the courage to not only face an opponent like Drew McIntyre, but then beat him, really proved what kind of competitor you are. That's why I'd like to offer you a SmackDown contract. 
This is a big decision, and I need more time to weigh my options. I get that. But let me know before I leave today. I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions today, but after what you did against Drew McIntyre, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get, a chance to sign with Raw. This is a big decision, and I need to think it over. Don't play games with me. If you want to sign, let me know. If not, you're a loss. I've heard a lot about you, and you didn't disappoint with your win over Drew McIntyre today. With that being said, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to sign with NXT. Are you? I have a feeling you might be singing a different tune after you see what NXT is all about. In fact, with that attitude, you might become the stone that gets stepped on. I look forward to proving you wrong. You're looking at the Blue Brand's newest superstar. Took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm gonna show the WWE Universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the Paragon. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing in NXT but without the lame nickname. Whatever. I'd say I'll be watching on NXT, but I'll be too busy dominating SmackDown. But if you ever make it out of the minors, let me know. Hey. I heard you're going to NXT. Looks like I'll have some company. You signed with NXT too? Yeah, I just spoke with Regal. I think it's a great fit for my style and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. We should look out for each other there. I'm gonna focus on myself right now. This is too big of an opportunity to get sidetracked by anyone else's drama. Whatever you need to do. But know that I got your back if you need it. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Did you really think you'd get signed? Wake up, man. You've been the weakling since we started here, and your unrealistic outlook only makes things worse. You really think that? Look, I'm not saying you're dead in the water, but... Consider today a reality check. Three of us were signed and you weren't. If you're ever going to make it, something needs to change, and that's on you. Maybe it's not me. Maybe someone's trying to hold me back. Or maybe they just didn't like my look. I can change that easy. I do still have that rib costume. Chase, look in the mirror. It's none of that other stuff. It's you. I gotta go clean out my locker. See you around. T, I think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. Be there. Yeah. Be there.